So in this video, we are going to learn how to share new comments from Facebook ads and Facebook page on Slack. So if you're running some Facebook ad or if you're having a Facebook page, this automation is going to help you a lot to you as well as to your team members. Now using this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new comment on our Facebook ads or on the Facebook page, automatically within few seconds, the same comment details will be shared as a message on our Slack channel with your team members. In this way, your team members will always be notified for the new comments and they can quickly reply to the comments as well, boosting your customer or user engagement. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation for yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page. And on the same Facebook page, I'm also running some Facebook ads. Now I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new comment on any post of this Facebook page or on any ad which I'm running on this Facebook page, I want to share that same comment with my team on my Slack channel. So to do this, we have to connect Facebook with Slack and we are going to use an automation platform called Public Connect to do so. So here you can see we are on Public Connect's dashboard and to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. After reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. Let's say I want to name my workflow as Facebook comments to Slack. And then select the folder of your Public Connect account in which you want to create this automation workflow and click on create. And now you can see the workflow is open over here. In this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook page with Pabli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we are going to receive a new comment, automatically the details of that comment will be received inside Pabli Connect. And this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. After that, using this Pabli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that comment as a message on our Slack channel. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window, in Choose app, search for Facebook Pages. Just select Facebook Pages over here. After selecting Facebook pages and trigger event from the dropdown, select new comment as the trigger event. After selecting the trigger event, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook page account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Facebook pages button. Now because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, Pabli Connect will detect the same account. Just click on continue and as we click on continue, we will see our Facebook account will get connected with Pabli Connect in the trigger step. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the Facebook page. So it is most likely possible that in your Facebook account, you might have created multiple pages. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which you have on your Facebook account, on your Facebook profile. Out of all of this, the page from which you want to get new comments, the page on which you are running your Facebook lead ads, you have to select that page in this drop down. So the name of my Facebook page is Green Pro Landscaping. So I'm going to search for the same page, Green Pro Landscaping. And after selecting a Facebook page, here is an important note, which says to get the data only related to this trigger, use the next action as a filter step and configure the following fields to filter. So this important note says that we have to basically add some kind of filter condition after this step to get the data only of new comments. So using this trigger, using this connection, Facebook is going to send the details of multiple events. Like it is going to send the details of new comment of our existing comment being updated or if a comment gets deleted, in that case, we are also going to get the response. Also, if someone likes our post or shares it, we are going to add all of those details in this trigger. But we only want to send Slack message to our team with the details of the new comment which we are receiving. So to ensure it, we have to add a filter condition in the next step, which we are going to see in a couple of minutes. But right now, after making this connection, just click on this save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you will see it is now going to get changed to waiting for webhook response. 
This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some details of a new comment on our Facebook page. So let's do it. What we are going to do from some other Facebook account, we are going to post a comment on one of our Facebook posts. Okay, so this is another Facebook account named as Devin Parker, which I have opened in my browser. Now, after this, what I'm going to do on my same Facebook page, I have this post where I'm going to post a comment. Let's say I want to post a comment as, for example, really helpful video. So this is the comment which I'm posting. Let's click on post. So just now I have received a new comment of one of my posts on my Facebook page. I'll just go back to my Facebook page and refresh it once. And yes, here you can see on this post on my Facebook page from Devin Parker, I have received a new comment. And because we have connected the same Facebook page with Pavli Connect, we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger step, we have received some response. And in this response, you will see the details of the exact same comment which we have just now received. So in this response, the first thing that we have is from ID. So we have the unique ID of the Facebook account of the user who has posted this comment. We get this from ID as well. Then we have the from name. We have the name of the person, name of the Facebook account who has posted this comment. Then we'll scroll down and you can see some other details. Like at what date and time we have received this comment. Then after that, we have the permanent link. We have the URL, the link of the Facebook post on which we have received the comment. And here you can see this response of message. In front of it, you can see the exact same message. You can see the exact same comment which we have received on our Facebook post. Then after that, here you can see the post ID, the unique post ID of that Facebook post on which we have received the comment. You can see the created time in timestamp format. You can see this rest one item as comment and rest one verb as add over here. So these two details, rest one item and rest one verb are very important in the next step while setting up the filter. So here we have to receive all the details of a new comment which we have received on Facebook. And as per this important note mentioned over here, in the next step, we have to add a filter condition based on verb which should be equals to add and also based on item which should be equals to comment. So let's see how you can add these filter conditions. So we will scroll down and come to this action step over here. And here in choose app, select filter by Pavli. So filter by Pavli is a module of Pavli Connect using which we can add filter condition in our workflow. After that, in action event from the dropdown, select filter value and click on connect. After clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is to select the label that on which label we want to set up a filter condition. And here in this dropdown, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Facebook pages of a new comment in this trigger step. So here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received. Out of all of these responses, first we are going to select this response of rest one verb. So as per this important note mentioned over here, the verb should be equals to add and the item should be equals to comment. So here in this filter condition, we are going to set up the filter condition as the label is rest one verb and this should be equals to add. So I'm going to write add over here. Then to add another filter condition, click on this plus button, add and condition. And from this drop down in select label, this time we are going to select rest one item and this should be equals to comment. So in this way, we have added a filter condition using this filter, only the details of new comment being added will be sent to Slack as a message. If we get the details for some other event or some other action happening on our Facebook page, in that case, we are not going to send the messages on our Slack channel. Also, there is one more important filter condition mentioned over here. It is important to filter the webhook based on rest one form ID to ensure it's not equal to the owner's account ID. So it is asking us that we have to set up another filter condition of rest one form ID. And we have to add a filter in such a way that this rest one form ID should not be equals to the ID of your Facebook page. So here in response, you can see we have this post ID 
And here in post ID, before this underscore, this is the account ID of your Facebook page. Now, if you are replying to the comments which you are receiving, in that case as well, this trigger is going to capture the replies which you are posting. And if we don't add a filter condition based on this rest fund from ID, then in that case, the replies which we are posting using this automation, those replies will also be sent on Slack. But I also don't want to send the replies which we are posting as the comment reply. So what we have to do, we have to set up the filter condition on rest one form ID and this should not be equals to this Facebook page ID which we have received. So the ID is before the underscore in front of post ID. We will just copy this ID from here. We will scroll down and come to this filter condition. Click on this plus button and add an and condition. Then from this drop down in select label, select rest one from ID and this time the filter type will be does not equals to and we are going to paste the ID of our Facebook account, our Facebook page. And after setting up these filter conditions, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it is showing us that the response is true, the condition is true. Because we have received the details of a new comment being added from some other user other than our own Facebook account, that's why it is showing us the condition is true. Now, after adding this builder, let's send the message or let's send the comment which we have received from Facebook page as a message on our Slack channel. So just click on this add action step after filter and then here in choose app, search for Slack. Just select it. After selecting Slack in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send channel message. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here, we have to connect our Slack account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with Slack button. After clicking on a connect on this pop-up, it is asking us what token type or what type of connection we want to create with Slack. So while connecting Slack with Pabli Connect, we have two options. Either we can create a user-based connection or a bot-based connection. Now you must be thinking what is the difference between a user-based connection and a bot-based connection. So in this help text, you can see this hyperlink, just click on it and it will take you to a page on our forum. Here you can see a complete documentation that what is the difference between a bot based connection and a user based connection. So right now I want to create a bot based connection. So I'm entering bot over here and click on save. Now as we click on save, because I have already logged into my Slack account, here you can see Pabli Connect has detected the same account over here. We will just scroll down and click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Slack account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the channel. So here in the drop down, you can see a list of all the channels which I have on my Slack account. Out of all of this, the channel on which I want to share my Facebook comments with my team is named as Facebook comments. So from this drop down, we have to select the same channel. So I'm selecting this Facebook comment channel over here. After selecting the channel, it is asking us for the message that what is the message we want to send on this channel to our team members. So I want my message to be hello. We have received a new comment on Facebook and after that, I want to share the details of the comment from name. So I'm going to mention the name of the person who has posted this comment on our Facebook page. Then I'm going to mention the comment which we have received and the post URL. We are going to share the link, the post URL on which post of our Facebook page or on which particular ad we have received the comment. Now what we have to do in this message section, one by one, we have to enter, we have to basically map all of these details. So we have received all of these details related to new comment in our trigger step from Facebook pages. And one by one from this trigger responses, we are going to map the response like the from name, the post URL, and the actual comment in this Slack action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of message. And here after that, in the drop down, you can see a list of all the responses from previous two steps. Out of all of these responses, select the response of from name and it will be mapped over here. After that, I want to map the comment. So just click here in front of comment from the drop down from Facebook pages responses. Select this response of message, this comment which we have written. And then after that, we are going to map the post URL as well. So from the drop down, select and map the response of post URL. 
In this way, whenever a new comment will be received on Facebook page, automatically the same comment detail will be shared as a message on our Slack channel with these details. So right now I have just created this simple message with the basic details. But if you want, you can create any message and add any details of the comment according to your choice, which we have received in the trigger step. Just map the required details which you want to send. After creating the message, it is asking us image URL and image alt text. So using this action, if you want, you can send some images to your team members as well. Right now, I don't want to send any kind of image. So we can ignore these two fields for now. Then it is asking us bot name and bot icon. So because we have created a bot based connection between Slack and Pavli Connect, so a Slack bot is going to post the messages on our Slack channel. So if you want, you can change the name of the bot and also the bot icon. So let's say I want my name of the bot as for example, Facebook. So this is the bot name I'm given to my Slack bot who is going to post the comments or share the comments on my Slack channel. Now, if you want, you can just add an image URL and that image will be added as the icon of this bot. Right now, I don't want to change the bot icon. So I'm just keeping it blank. Then again, it is asking us some other details like auto expand link, link username and channel name and reply broadcast. So all of these details are not mandatory, are not required. So if you want, you can just ignore these fields for now as well. And after mapping all the details, after entering all the details, creating the message and selecting our Slack channel, just scroll down and click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here, this message is now shared on our Slack channel using this bot name. This bot named as Facebook has shared the message on our Slack channel, this channel. So let's check it. We will go to a Slack account. And yes, here you can see just now we have received a new message on our Slack channel which says, hello, we have received a new comment on Facebook. We have the name of the person who has posted the comment. We have the actual comment which we have posted and we have the link, the URL of the same Facebook post. If you click on this link, you will see in a new tab, the same Facebook post will open in front of us. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once. Once again, I'll go to the another Facebook account which I have and on my Facebook page, I have this another post. And on this post, I'm going to post another comment. So Devin Parker is going to post another comment on some other Facebook post on my page. Let's say I want my comment to be, we are testing this automation. And yes, so just now I have received a comment on my Facebook page post. And as I receive this comment, we will see instantly within few seconds, the same comment detail will be sent as a message on our Slack channel. And here it is. You can see the same bot name Facebook has shared this comment, has posted this message on our Slack channel. And you can see the same comment details. The same person named Devin Parker who posted the comment. We have the exact same comment. We are testing this automation. And you can see the link of the same post. We'll click on this link. And in a new tab, you will see the same post will be open in front of us on which we have posted this comment. This means the automation workflow which we have created with Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.